hanging out with some people at the meetup. Hey people. So Hugo took my people skills reboot program and what's happened as a result of you taking it? So what happened is I've now contacted much many more people. I feel more comfortable going to those places and I have a purpose and an outcome that I want to, but also I'm helping a lot of more people. So I'm building that network all awesome. through the through James Swanick. Oh, Amazing nice man. So you took the people skills reboot program. Yeah. Good job, brother. Yeah. Nice one. How does that feel? Good? It feels really good. Everything looks really, really different. Let's try these on Jackson. Oh, I can see now. <laughs> there you go. Nice. And so, nice. what do you say? You, you you listen to a podcast or something about drinking? What did you say? YouTube and also a motivational video about not drinking. I think it's very important to be able to be able to be social without the use of alcohol. Yeah. So you, so you don't have a drink on you. You're not drinking at the moment, and you're being social. Aren't you? Yeah, I'm talking to people. <laughs> yeah. I've never met this guy. No social. I'm wearing his glasses. Yes. <laughs> People think I'm drunk right now. Now we've got a band playing here. It's chaos. Look at, back at it from the back. So in terms of like, where you are, where you've been, where you've got to today, how has it been for you so far? You know, I always wanted to go and live in America, so when I was living here in London in 2002, I was like, I'm going to make it in America. And when I first went over there, I had to rough it for a bit. You know, I slept in a hostel paying $15 a night. Um, and that was all right. It was a bit of an adventure. And then I figured out how to get a work visa. And then I started interviewing movie stars just by cold calling movie studios and saying, how do I do this? Like, teach me how to interview movie stars. And then I managed to just do it. And then, I don't know. I, don't, uh, I guess the, uh, the real secret is just it's persistence and actually just starting something. Like, the only thing that stopped me from going out of a... The only thing that would have stopped me from going to America is me saying, I'm not going to be able to make it in America, or I can't do that. But I just said, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to see what happens. And 13 years later, I've been, been living there in the US. You know? My London trip continues. I'm in Brixton at the beach. my friend Claire that I've known, how long we know one another now? Since 2001. 2002. 2002 and we actually met on the beach in Thailand. It's just like this. She's going to... Oh yeah, how are the glasses? How are the glasses? Oh, the glasses are lovely. All of a sudden it's like putting a comforter, in, whatever that means, on your eyes. It's very soothing. So I'm back in my home in Los Angeles. I hope you enjoyed my London meetup video. Where should I meet you next? Where are you in the world? Leave a comment down below and let me know what city you're in and we can do a meetup there. Speak to you soon. Yeah. How do you be more persuasive in life? How do you persuade people to do what they want them to do? This is Raymond Duke, who's a copywriter.